Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15, where I'll be giving you just a one tip for tomorrow's horse race in action. And we're going to be going with my nap tomorrow, which runs in the feature race at Doncaster. It's the 335 Scepter Stakes kicking off the St. Ledger Festival. And my nap is going to be November, the German Raider for Peter Schoenigan. Bazarir Mitsureth is um, taking the ride. It's got a good relationship on this horse, probably just butchered his name. But yeah, this horse, November, I think, on her best form, she's got a really good chance in this race, and she's currently available at four to one. If I was actually pricing her up, I think she personally could be a nine to four, five to two favourite. I think she's got solid claims in this race because if you actually look at her form this season, she's actually been holding her own in slightly better races. She was last seen finishing third in a Group Three at Ascot, but I think that was a deeper race. That was behind the likes of a Schooler who finished second in that race. That horse has subsequently gone on to win in France and has been in great form this season. So I think that was a nice run. And even on some of her form last year, when she finished fourth in the Coronation Stakes, she finished third behind Real World on Arc Weekend. She's got a lot of good form to her name. And I think the key to her is having easy going. I think it's not going to be riding quick at Doncaster tomorrow. I imagine it will be, on worst case scenario, easy side of good, which will be more up her street. She's encountered some quick ground this season. And if the rain was to get into the ground a little bit more, I don't think that would impede her at all. And she actually does have stamina to, to win over slightly further. So I think there's a lot of ticks in the boxes tomorrow for November. I think some of our rivals, even though there are a few three-year-olds in here, get that weight for Age of Lance. I just think they've got to show a lot more improvement than what she's um, currently shown at the moment to, to get anywhere near her and beat her. So I think November, plenty of ticks in the boxes. We've seen Pete Shergan as well come over to England and already win um, this kind of race earlier in the season when he t uh, took the thoroughbred stakes at Glorious Goodwood with Rockajani. So we know he's more than capable of doing it at this level. And I think, like I say, with some of her earlier form, I think this brings her right into it, running against her own sex as well. Plenty of positives for November tomorrow and hopefully she can give us a winner on the board there so that's going to be the nap and the only tip for tomorrow's racing if you're enjoying these videos hit the thumbs up button subscribe here to the youtube channel at lucky loads 15 please remember to gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you again soon.